people who quit their jobs on the first day, what was your Imout Tahir moment? I took a job at a lockdown residential treatment center as I was desperate for a job. The interviewer said most of the kids were court ordered and were a step away from juvie. The interview didn't go well, so I was honestly surprised when they called me offer me the job. The morning of training was going over all of the state and federal laws that governed the place, like resident rights and staff to resident ratios and the like. The afternoon was a tour of the facility where it became readily apparent that exact none of the laws where Joss covered were being followed. I left at the end of the day and never came back. I had a feeling something bad was going to happen at that place. A few months later they got shut down after a riot that results in several serious injuries to both residents and staff. Glad I wasn't around for that. Not technically first day but second day, when I was 20 or so I got hired to be a temporary floor member for Forever 21 during the holiday season. My training started a week before Black Friday, so the store was already kind of in chaos. On my first day of training I walked in, and the floor manager gave all the new hires a tour showing us the facility and layout of the store. After this I was assigned to a veteran floor member to shadow and get an idea of what my job was, and what my duties would be. As soon as I was assigned the manager dipped never to be seen again. An hour and a half into my shift my shadowy got an emergency family call, and had to take off for a week. When this happened I found some other floor manager, and explained the situation, and asked them who else I should shadow. The manager's response was just do what you can by yourself you'll be fine. Everyone else is busy. Figured well okay I'll try. I don't know if any of you have shopped in the women's section of Forever 21, but during seasonal sales they will have multiple articles of clothing that'll look almost exactly the same, but with slight differences x. A white cardigan with 4 buttons that looked literally the same as a white cardigan with 5 buttons. The best part was these different items were often placed in completely separate parts of the store, and it was the job of the dressing room to return the unpurchased items to the correct section, so the employees could put them back on the shelves. Well, these employees fking sucked, and I didn't know if they were a part of my section or not, so I'd spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to find where they go before realizing, wait this isn't even my section I've checked literally every rack. So it put it back on the sorting rack and moved to the next item. More than 50% of the stuff I was told to a shelf wasn't my section. I just did as best as I could and got ready for my next miserable day. The next day I come in and the store manager pulls me to her office and tells me how slow I was the day before and if I want to keep working here I need to be very fast. I explained my lack of training and unfamiliarity with the store, and she told me, if I didn't know where the clothes were in sections I should come in my free time, and memorize where stuff was at. I spent the rest of my shift putting clothes in random fking places and never came back for a third shift. Fuck that place and their management. My first internship was at a Brazilian teen detention center it's akin to a prison, but Brazilian law has some distinctions between crimes, committed while as an adult, or as a teenager teens go through socio-educational measures. I was walking through a courtyard with my supervisor, when some doctors came running flailing their arms, and screaming while officers came running from the opposite direction. I get pulled by my supervisor who just tells me to run back to our office. These teens as young as 12 had escaped their block. A few minutes later an officer comes knocking on the doors of the offices and yelling for everyone to run outside because a fire had broken out. Some of the teens had set mattresses on fire in their cells. I didn't really know out. My teacher did she hadn't even been there that day. So I was f said by the university to choose another place to intern at. Oh well. Wasn't exactly the first day, but I didn't show up after the second shift. It was a rather popular cafe chain in my country. I was hired to work in the kitchen as a cook along with another senior cook. Let's put aside the fact that I had zero cooking knowledge whatsoever. The senior cook was leaving the kitchen every 5 minutes to smoke. So there I am, alone in the kitchen. Orders are printing fast, and I'm standing there not sure what to do first, and the waitress comes over yelling at me to cook as it. I don't have any business cooking. Definitely not on my own. Later on the senior cook told me they had at least two rats running around the kitchen. Showed me they pooped on a plate. I never came back, and I'm glad the place got shut down. 
I used to work at a craft store as a cashier, but quit when I moved. Ended up going back a couple years later to make some extra cash, but this time in the framing department. During the interview they swore up and down I would only ever be a backup cashier because I said I refused to have full cashier shifts. First shift after interview is listed as framing, but I'm put on cash and told that actually most of my shifts would be cash since they'd found someone else for framing. I spent the next 6 hours giving everyone who came to my register 20% off of everything and then never went back. I was 17 and working precast concrete. Refused to use a rusted 2 asset ladder. Supervisor called me a pussy. Got up about 7 rungs before his foot went through one. Heard his foot snap as he fell. I called an ambulance and walked to my car in the parking lot. Summer job working for a landscape architect. Got to the job site and he asked me to dig a hole in some rocky dirt. I asked for a shovel. He didn't have one. I asked for a hand spade. He didn't have one. He told me to just dig the hole with my bare hands, and then he drove off to another site leaving me completely alone. I dug for a little bit, and then said fuck this and left. Had the job specified that I needed to supply my own tools I called for, but it didn't, and I wasn't going to work for somebody that expected folks to dig through hard rocky soil with their hands. On the first day of working at Amazon Warehouse the managers broke down to everyone how 15 minute break works there. Walking to the break room is 2, 1, 2 minutes 10 minutes of actual break, and then 2, 1, 2 minutes, to go back to your stations. It took me 2, 1, 2 minutes, to walk to my car and I took a forever break. When I burned my hands all night on the two hot plates as a food runner, they wouldn't let me use towels to carry them, and said I just had to get used to it. Nope. 